Welcome back. For my final tipping point tonight, if the Black Lives Matter movement cared about black lives, we've been asking this all week, why don't they talk about the number of black men killed by other black men? Instead, they point their fingers at police. They blame white people for oppression. They call me racist when I tell the truth. An average of 112 black people are killed by police every year, but an average of 4,472 black people are killed every year by other black people. The founders of the movement are three radical lesbian women who plan to tear down the rule of law in our nation. They want the criminal justice system to crumble. They are fighting to bring about a Marxist-style revolution. Make no mistake, the founders of the Black Lives Matter movement, three women named Alicia Garza, Patrice Coolers, and Opal Tometi, are sympathetic to violence against police officers. Garza herself said that the Black Lives Matter movement isn't concerned with inciting more violence after the shooting of the Dallas police officers. She claims the movement condemns it. They're concerned, she says, with the assumption that black people are criminals. Well, let's look at the facts again. Of course, all black people are not criminals. The fact that Garza made a comment like that proves she's utilizing a political tactic to plant the idea in people's minds that white people think black people are criminals. It's a heinous idea, a despicable accusation. Nothing could be further from the truth. But Garza, again, isn't concerned with the truth. She's concerned with creating a society of victimhood. The truth here is young black men are astronomically more likely to commit crimes than their white counterparts. This isn't something we should accept as a society, but it isn't something we can deny from a factual standpoint either. If we look at the FBI statistics, we can see for ourselves that in 2014, blacks committed 5,173 homicides that year, while whites committed 4,367. If the Black Lives Matter movement cared about the well-being of black lives, that's the question they would ask. Why? Why is that statistic disproportional to the population of black people in our country? What is it about the experience of young black men that propels so many into a life of crime? And how can we best equip them for better lives? And that's my final point tonight. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com contact. And be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern, and have a good night.